We tend to think of art as something just to look at, but a lot of artists make their work to stimulate our other senses. Sculptors, textile and fabric artists, bookmakers, ceramicists, and artists working in many other forms think a lot about how to engage viewers' sense of touch. Even when their art is not meant to be touched, artists put a lot of thought and work into creating many different textures. Texture is one of the seven elements of art, along with line, shape, color, form, value, and space. Texture is the look or feel of a surface. Just like form, texture can be real or implied. If you were to run your hand across this sculpture by Alberto Giacometti, you would feel the hardness of the bronze metal and the roughness of the form that Giacometti created. This is called actual texture. Implied textures are only visual, they can't be felt. For instance, if you could touch the canvas of this self-portrait by Chuck Close, you wouldn't feel the varied textures of skin and hair. You would feel the smoothness of the oil paint. So these textures are implied because we can only see them. There are countless ways that artists create implied textures. How many different kinds of lines do you notice in this painting by Roy de Forest? You have the zigzag lines creating a woman's hair on the left, cross-hatching creating her skin, the blurred smudged colors coming out of the dog's mouth and the man's mouth in the center. Those are just to name a few kinds of implied textures here. Textures can also be created through use of shapes. In this painting by Gustav Klimt, notice how he repeats shapes to create textures. You have the triangles and lines on the woman's dress on the left, the many spirals creating the tree in the center, and in the woman's dress on the right you have circles within circles, rectangles within squares, and all the scattered shapes throughout the piece create many different textures. Paintings and other typically two-dimensional art can have actual texture. Sometimes artists layer paint on the canvas so thick that it becomes three-dimensional. At that point, the paint is a sculptural element that can be manipulated and shaped. Some artists build up fabrics, textiles, jewelry, and many other objects on the canvas to create additional textures. Artists often feature the natural textures of the materials they use, or textures uniquely created and formed by hand. Whatever the approach, textures are an expressive tool artists use to reinforce their overall messages. The next time you're making a painting, drawing, collage, or sculpture, find a way to incorporate textures that say something relevant and important to you.